So I received some mail recently with some rare Italian heirloom cucumber seeds, and I've been very anxious to open them up. But before I do that, let me explain how this came to be. Last summer, I put out a video about my favorite cucumber, the Suyo Long, and I proclaimed it to be the undefeated champion cucumber in its ability to grow in a hot climate. So I got a comment on that video. It really made me stop and think. Jay from Cucumber Shop says that he has some ancient varieties that are Italian heirlooms, such as the Caracello, which is really great at surviving and producing in a hot climate. As well, he says it has a texture and flavor that beats anything he's ever tried. So I wanna be completely respectful and open to this challenge about this different variety of cucumber. And before I open up this envelope and show you these seeds, there's only one more thing I'd like to say. Challenge accepted. What's up everybody? It's Scott from New Garden Road. You know I'm here to inform, inspire, and elevate you. Encouraging biodiversity and restoring habitat is my mission. One garden at a time. Cucumber seeds! From Fairfield, California to Austin, Texas. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. The Caracello Lassessi Striped. The Caracello Round Barisi. Tondo Barisi. Oh, wow. You know, I've got tingles running up and down my spine because I love this stuff. Rare seeds, heirloom seeds, seeds that have been forgotten, that have been grown for millennia. They've got some traits, some qualities we just don't know about, we forgot about, or, you know, we haven't got a chance to understand yet. And this represents one of my biggest passions, which is, you know, diversity in the garden. You know, I always talk about biodiversity and I'm talking about plants and insects and pollinators. But the other thing is the food, the sourcing of your food, the seeds, the plants themselves, you get a diverse array of those. You just never know what's right around the corner, what's gonna produce the best, taste the best. Yeah, so thank you, Jay. I'm totally stoked to try these out. So the Caracello Lasechi Striped. Uh, and, you know, I apologize. I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, you know, I just do the best I can. Variations in vine and fruit length ensure harvest of four to six inch cylindrical fruit developing model dark bands exhibiting superb juicy crisp texture and flavor with a sweet aftertaste wow the caracello round barisi an oval to round sweet cucumber melon with very light green skin and deep longitudinal furrows the juicy interior contains compact delicious bitter free white flesh these cucumbers are produced early in the center of bushy compact and productive vines Pick when baseball size. Oh yeah. Oh, this is this is so cool. I mean, check it out. You know, that's like that's the deal right there. So, how do these varieties differ from our standard varieties of cucumbers? First of all, they're classified differently. They're C. Milo, and a lot of the standard varieties are C. Sativus. So, technically, these are melons, but they're melons that you harvest as cucumbers. These varieties are also bitter free. They're burpless. They've been grown by farmers for generations in southern Italy. For a long time, they were the only varieties of cucumbers that you could get in Europe. But after the C. Sativus was introduced, they were forgotten by a large part of Northern Europe. But in Italy, they held on to their C. Milo and they kept producing them generation after generation. And that's because they produce so well in their specific climate. They've been proven to produce well in the southwestern heat of Arizona and Southern California. So that gives them a lot of credit in my book. That's gonna be really great to compare here because in Austin and Central Texas, we have really long, hot, dry summers. Typically, you wanna plant your cucumbers by the end of April. And I've got some Suyo Longs growing now and like I said that's always been one of my favorite varieties they produce well into July most of the time at that point they'll start to you know get fried they'll fry up so these varieties that I'm gonna try I think they've got a better chance at, at doing better maybe going into the longer season you know our next planting window for cucumbers here in Central Texas is not until August and that in itself is a challenge because starting seeds in August getting seedlings out in the garden under our sun and our heat and our dry conditions can be really tough I'm going to give it a shot and what I'd like to do is 
start a little bit earlier. I think I'm gonna target the end of June into July, and that way I'll have a chance to make successive plantings. If the first set of seeds that I get started don't make it or there's an issue, I'll have enough time to start some more. Be sure and subscribe to New Garden Road and click the bell for notifications. You're gonna wanna stay up to date on the results of this showdown between the Suyo Long and these ancient Italian heirlooms. And make sure you check out Cucumber Shop. They're at cucumbershop.com. They're also on YouTube. Jay's got some really great informational videos that talk about these specific varieties as well as how to get them sprouted and how to cultivate them. I'm gonna drop some links in the description. And thanks again to Cucumber Shop for sending me those seeds. I really can't wait to see how things turn out. Now check out more awesome gardening videos on my channel. Like this video if you like it and subscribe to New Garden Road for weekly content. You can grow your own food. Keep it organic.